hello friends so in uh, my last video i have discussed uh, how to create the database and uh, how to drop the database and how to show the databases which are already uh, stored in the particular id and uh, as i have told you that uh, from the next video i'll be creating the tables and more functions we'll be discussing so here in this context i am going to uh, tell you that uh, until and unless we discuss the different data types of uh, mysql uh, we will not be able to create the table so here i am going to discuss some uh, data types that is mysql data types which are based on ncsql nc that that is american national standard institute SQL numeric data types and every RDMS follows NC SQL for their data types. So here the first type is int or integer like this and its range means if any uh, field is of type integer is capable of taking ma minimum value this minus 2147483648 2147483648 Plus two one four seven four eight three six four seven, and it could be signed or unsigned. And if you want to take the value with decimal point, then you should use float or double. In float, this is the smaller than the double because in this float, uh, it uses ten digits, including two decimal places and up to twenty four decimal. Places for precision, right? And in double, uh, it uh, uh, takes sixteen total digits, and out of total digits, four digits are reserved for decimal places. So, and uh, the precision may go up to fifty-three decimal places. And here. In place of float or double, we can also use decimal for floating point number. And here you uh, must note that numeric is another data type which is the synonym of decimal, where uh, mantissa and decimal places like float and double will be mentioned. So this is a kind numeric data type, and second is the date data type here uh, we will use uh, different data types for time and date so first type is date which takes the uh, date in y y y y dash mm and dash dd any year month and date format and its range varies from 1000 january 1 to 9999 december 31st like this there is another time date time this is date time data type here in this type it uses the same format y y y y dash mm dash dd with one space hours minutes and seconds hh means two days in hours mm means two days in months ss means two days in seconds format and it ranges from 1000 january 1 to and uh, time 0000 to 9999 year and december 31 and time limit midnight 23 that that is 12 o'clock at midnight Time is another data type where you can take data. HH means the delimiter is uh, colon, means hours, then colon, minutes, then colon, then seconds. In this format, MySQL takes the time. And there is another data type of time that is time is, uh, stamp. This is more or less date time with, uh, format without hyphen between numbers like uh, this shows 
1973 December 30 and here this shows 15 means 3 o'clock 30 past 3 okay represents December 30, 1973 and 3.30 p.m. So this is for date and time, data types. And next is string or character data type. So char is a fixed length char type, which is capable of holding 1, 2, 2, 55 characters, but it is a fixed length data type. And contrary to it, we have variable length character type which is where care it can take the data from one character to 255 characters in addition we have another data type which is blob that is binary large objects or text a field with length 65535 characters means it is capable of storing images in the database so these are the types where you can use words sentences and photographs if you want to and in addition we can use comment characters also if there is a multi-line comment you may use slash and a star and then comment and lines if you want then in the end of the comment you will have to put asterisk and slash so if you have three line comment then in the first line and our first character should be less an asterisk then comment or suppose it uh, ends in third line so in the end of the comment you will have to give asterisk and slash so this will become the multi-line comment and if uh, there is a single line comment you can use dash dash or hashtag single line comment so after discussion of uh, data types and comment, we are moving to our MySQL, where I will uh, tell you how to use the database and how to create the table. And this time I'm going to create a table uh, employee with some fields and uh, we'll use some candidate keys and uh, different constants and different types, which we have discussed right now. So let's move to our MySQL. So here this is MySQL and this is uh, the interface where background is blue and foreground is white means text color is white. So before uh, creating a table, we must know what is the database we are going to use. So first command which I am going to apply here show databases and comment I am giving showing the databases see here so there are these databases and Uh, I'll have to I'll have to give a uh, 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 space between uh, two hyphens and showing and that is why it showed the error but no worries this will work now uh, this is the time to create the table and before creating the table I'm going to use the database uh, i'm sorry uh, the database which i wanted to use is 12 science but uh, this database is not here in the list so we'll have to create the database so what should be the command create database 12 science and semicolon your database is created now this is time to create the table. So I'm going to create the table. So syntax is create. This is not uh, case sensitive. So you can use uh, cup, upper or small, whichever you want. Letter case. Create then table. 
and this time I am going to create the table uh, employee. So employee. This is the name of the table employee, and then I'll have to mention uh, all the attributes. So my first attribute is employee ID. Then type of the character. This time I am taking uh, integer and I am uh, taking the size of integer as well. I am going to take the employee ID maximum of four digits. Four, and since this is a candidate key, so I'll make this key as the primary key of this table. So I write primary key. Now next field is employee. Say name of type where care twenty five. And this should be not null. Then date of joining of the employee. This is of type date, and its size is fixed because y y y y dash m m dash d d. So the length of this size is ten. So its size is predefined. So you don't have to worry about. And you don't have to give the size of the date. And I'm taking taking it as not null. I think uh, I have taken three fields, and I'm one field more. I am going to take designation, designation, and designation of type worker, and Taking off day fifteen, and this is also I I must say not null. Okay, not null, and this statement is complete, and I must press sem semicolon and press enter. Uh oh, so there is uh okay I cannot give not null with date so arrow key i am using to to bring the command back what is the issue what is the issue employee id a create table employee employee id in four and this is the primary key fine Employee name were not null, DOG of type date, and then designation of, and this is again not null. Table employee. So, what was the error? I think something I have missed. Designation where care 15 create table. Employee, employee ID, in four primary key, employee name, where care, 25. Okay, okay. So here, this is the error. This is not null. And date. Again, not null. No. Oh, shit. So use database use wealth science and then apply that command again create table and here this table is created so i have to see uh, what is structure does this table have so i'll apply another command this is called describe structure describe structure of employee See here, this is, and it shows employee ID of integer type, not null, primary key, and employee name is not null, date of joining is not null, designation is not null. So this way, my table is created. And so this is enough for today. So we'll meet in the next video. And uh, if you have not subscribed my uh, channel yet, kindly subscribe and share this um, video with your friends and see and apply.
Bye-bye.